Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another magic maker project for hobby hoppers. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Steph Williams, I'm a paper crafter and card maker from Queensland, Australia. Today I have this adorable project to share with you using some of the new release products from Lawn Fawn. To get started I'm going to show you what I needed to make this card. So here is the adorable embroidery hoop die. Run to hobby hoppers if you want them, don't hesitate because I missed out on the first round. I'm also using the So Very My stamp set, my Henry's ABC dies, which are back in stock as well. I'm using one of the yellow sheets of paper from the What's Sewing On paper pad. And as you can see here, I have already cut out my paper pieces. I have my embroidery hoop, the little screw that goes at the top. I'm using the heart shape today, and there is my paper cut with the largest stitch rectangle die. As you can see here, I got a little distracted looking at how cute these little mice are and I tried to stamp with the lid of my stamp pad. Had one of those moments, thought I'd leave it in. And here I am stamping out these cute little mice. I just love them so much. I know that they're not incredibly versatile with the fact that they are holding embroidery hoops, but my gosh, this is just a very, very cute design. This little guy I'm adding, however, can absolutely be used in a multitude of ways. Same with the little guy that I'm using that will be carrying the little spools of thread. I do really appreciate that some of these mice in here can be used for many other designs as well. And while I've got all my stamping going on here at the moment, you might already be able to see, I've got a little happy birthday stamped into one of those little cross stitch hoops. And with some yellow to match my yellow papers, I'm just adding some other little decorative stitches as well. So moving on to coloring, I did keep things very simple for this card. I'm only using neutral grays for my mice so that the shade of them won't clash with the type of yellow for the background. And I'm also just using a bit of brown for the embroidery hoops. I've also brought in my yellow and orange Copic marker as well for a little bit of blending. But as you'll see, this card really doesn't have a lot of different colors to it. I probably could have added maybe one more, but you know what I'm like with my color schemes. If I start adding things, things start to go a little bit bananas. So I thought simple is best. And colouring always takes a little while, so now is the perfect time to tell you about Hobby Hoppers. So as I mentioned before, I am a magic maker for Hobby Hoppers, and what that means is that I am on the creative team, and I get to show you how to make things with the awesome stuff that Trish stocks in her online store. So I always gravitate towards the Lawn Fawn because I'm obsessed, it's my favourite brand, and it's really nice to have a stockist in Australia, rather than having to buy direct all the time. But Lawn Fawn isn't the only thing that Trish has in her store. She's got heaps of amazing things and I'll make sure I'll leave the link to the shop in the description for this video along with the links to everything I'm using for this card. And you might not know but I am not the only magic maker for Hobby Hoppers. Desley Jane, I'll make sure I leave her links in the description as well, is also another magic maker and she is much better at showing off a wider variety of the things that Hobby Hoppers has to offer. So hopefully you'll check her out too to see what else the shop stocks. A few of my other favourite things from Hobby Hoppers includes the Jelly Roll pens that I use in every single card to give my little characters white highlights, and the watercolour pigments. I can never pronounce the brand properly, but I use them in almost every video, and I'll just put the link for them in the description too. So as you can see with my colouring today, I'm keeping things super simple as always. I only really ever use two colours per area. Colouring with the lighter one, doing some shadow with the darker one, and then simply blending them together. I find this is just a quick and effective way to add a lot of dimension to my little characters. While I could have cut my embroidery hoop out of some different coloured cardstock, for me it was a better decision to colour it in. If I didn't do this, then my background for my heart would also be the wrong colour, and I could perfectly match the little embroidery hoops that the mice are holding with this big one by using the same coloured Copic markers to colour it in. And as you can see now, I'm adding my white highlights to all of my little images. I just love the way this brightens things up, it makes their eyes look cute and shiny, as well as their adorable little cheeks, and just gives a tiny bit of dimension to everything so that it doesn't look so flat. Now for the fun part, <laughs> and this was a little time consuming, 
but that's okay. I'm a little out of practice with my cross stitch. I do love doing it, but I'm not very good at it. I will tell you that. I've never read how to do it properly. I've never watched proper tutorials on how to do cross stitch. So that's why sometimes it looks really good on the front and then it looks like someone's taken a whippersnipper to it at the back. But so long as I've got that crisscross on the front, I feel like I'm doing fine. So don't you worry if yours also <laughs> looks like that at the back. I'm sure I show it at some point. I'm really not sure. Maybe I was too embarrassed to flip it over. <laughs> but what I've done here is I've got three different shades of yellow. And these threads, they're not fancy. They're not like name brand. I think I bought them in bulk from Zulily a very long time ago. Like I'm talking like a pack of 60. And I don't even think they were named by color. Um, I think... For this card today I just held them up against the paper that I wanted to use for the background and picked three that I thought kind of matched and just hoped for the best. And so I've started with the lighter colour down the bottom and I've kind of gone for I guess like a, a bit of an ombre look where it gets a bit darker as it travels up the heart. It wasn't necessary but it was something that I thought would make it look really pretty and I think it does look pretty but it also was just I guess another thing that made it take a little longer. But I'm sure you will agree by the time we get to the end of this that it does look really cute. I really love that this set comes with that blank circle as well to do whatever design you want in it. And I have had someone on Instagram ask me if I find any designs anywhere online to uh, let everyone know. But really when it comes to things like cross stitch, I tend to make them up, which I know doesn't help anyone and really not even myself because it just confuses me <laughs> more than anything. I'm not sure if you've seen it, but I do actually have the solar system. I will pop a photo of it right here. Um, I did them, I guess, by eye. I just decided I wanted to make them for my son's room and I just sat down and started stitching. Uh, the backs of those ones are horrific. <laughs> they are terrifying, but they look so good on the other side. So I am no cross stitching expert. So if I can do this, you can totally do this too. And if you're not willing to do like the cross stitching at all, or if you feel like that's time consuming and you want to whip up a quick card instead, I have seen someone on the Lawn Fawn design team use the magic messages and stamping that in the center of the embroidery hoop, which I think looked so good. So if you need a reminder as to what the magic messages are, I'll just pop some pictures here so that you can see what I'm talking about. They are typically circular in their little designs and they fit really nicely within that hoop. Trish has a bunch in stock at the moment over on her website, so I'll link them down below as well. I think they're a really good alternative because they're decorative and they're pretty and they have all of those little embellishments around the words. And honestly, I think I will probably purchase more of them now that I have this set just because they're gonna fit really well and look really good there. It's just another example of Lawn Fawn's older designs being really versatile and being able to be used with their newer stuff. So while I am stitching away here, I think at this time while I was stitching, I was counting down. I was keeping an eye on the clock, being very mindful of the time because my son needed to be picked up from school. But we're not in a rush here today, so I'm going to leave you with some music while I finish this off. Okay, like look at that, that's, that's very cute. I was very happy with how this one turned out. And now that that piece is done, I'm then going to start lining the things up for my background and getting my little mice ready to set my scene. So as you can see, I've glued the little button to that little guy over there so that he's ready to place on my background. I wanted him behind my embroidery hoop, so I needed to have him ready for when I started sticking all of these pieces down. You'll get a feel for what I mean as we go along.
With my embroidery hoop in place, it was then time to risk it all by stamping directly onto my background. Although this is going to be a birthday card with a little mouse whose hoop says happy birthday, I also wanted to add a bigger sentiment and I'm going with you mean so much to me. And if you've been hanging around and looking at my cards for a while and watching my videos and seeing this bright yellow card, you may have already guessed that this one is going straight to my grandma. Or at least it will be when it's her birthday. I'll be sending this one to her in May. The yellow is her favourite colour and I thought this is just really sweet. It's just something that I really want to send to her. While I don't have any three-dimensional pieces in the way, I'm going to add my white highlights to my letters. One final step before adding that dimension is to add my double-sided tape to the back of my card front. And now things are really going to start coming together super quick. So I've got some foam squares on the back and I'm being very careful with this. I don't want to bend my heart. I don't want to rip it. I don't want anything ruining it now that it's finished. And I'm going to place that in the center. I'm not sure what else to do with these. I guess you kind of have to have it raised because it does have all of that work on the back as well. But I found some foam squares uh, were more than enough to prop it up without all of those stitches on the back interfering with how flat it sat. My little mice on either side are also going to have some foam squares and a little bit of so that they sit nicely on either side of that big embroidery hoop in the center. After that, I'm then going to add my other little accessories and my other little mouse. That top right corner was looking a little bit bare, so I've just gone and grabbed that same yellow ink that I was using before and I stamped a simple stitched heart. It was then time to remove the backing to my double sided tape and adhere this card front onto a card base. And there we have it, this card is complete. I really hope you love this Magic Maker project for Hobby Hoppers. Don't forget to check out the website and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this tutorial. Just subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.